And there we are. Hello, everyone. And welcome back to Edelshoven. Edelshoven. Yes. That's how I'm saying it. Don't know if it's right. We're 14 episodes in. Don't even know if I'm saying the name right. But that's what it's getting called from now on. Hello. Welcome to Farming Sim. Um, yeah. Today, I think, is going to be quite a good day. I have a really good feeling about today that we are going to have a lot of things to do, which is great for a start, and also uh, a lot of things to sell, because as you can see by the date, it is now the month of June. And uh, yes, June is a good time for selling. June is a very good time for selling. Um, and July is good for harvesting, hopefully. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Um, July, August, it may be August when we get round to the harvest. I can't remember if we planted the wheat late or not. But yeah. Hey babe, nice to see you. Mwah. Love you. Um, yeah, so the start of today, I think we are going to start by doing a bit of selling because we have quite a bit of stuff to sell. Namely, this big bunker load here. Look at this, look at this. Lots of lovely, lovely, lovely jubbly silage here. Um, we cut all of this grass in the previous episode and I spent a little while just picking it all up, putting it in and then going over with the roller um, and our big friend over there, the Fent, just flattening it down. And we've ended up with just over 300,000 litres of silage, which is going to sell pretty well because, I say because, guys, um, by some miracle of miracles, the price for silage is unseasonably high at the animal dealer. Um, July is typically the worst month. Hey, Groot, good to see ya. Hey. Um, but yeah, silage is typically the worst time. Best time's in, like, December. But we can actually get 600, which is pretty good, actually. That's more than kind of... That's, like, two-thirds of its highest price. And considering... Um, that I would really like to buy a new harvester before the harvest I'm gonna go for this price it's also on the way up as well so by the time we've gotten gotten it loaded we may even get even more for it um, so that's where we're gonna start today we're gonna get this silage sold um, the sheep are doing well they have multiplied there are now twice as many sheep in the pen it is a full pen of sheep so I'm hoping that the amount of wool that we get here will start to increase. Um, so yeah, I think what we need to do is just check that the right options are selected because I do need auto start off to do this. Uh, and then we're actually going to get this silage loaded up. I'm hoping I can kind of back this trailer in here. That would be the ideal situation. We're going to start with this and we're going to see just how much we can get for it um, in total. Oh, no, that was too much of a... I'm, I'm doing pretty well, Groot. Thank you for asking. Um, I am glad to be home. The temperature here in the UK at the moment is ridiculous. Um, you may have seen my comments about it on the Discord. Oh, there we go. Uh, it's, at a, it's at a wonky angle, but it's still filling, and that's good. Uh, oh, wait, no it's not, because that was just what was in the thing. I need to actually turn this on. There we go. And turn on the conveyor. There we go. That 
will start pumping in our delicious silage. Oh, ah, it, it, it kind of went up on a mound of silage. Well, how appropriate is that, huh? Um, so yeah, we'll fill this up. We'll start doing some selling. Um, and we'll see how much money this gets us. I'm at 600 for a thousand liters. I'm guessing if we've got 300,000 liters, we're probably going to end up with about 200,000, which would be absolutely amazing. I must say that would be fantastic if my estimate's correct, but we may get even more because the price is apparently going up, although very slowly going up. Um, as for everything else, they're still producing nicely. Oh, hey, look at that. The, the tomatoes are catching up with the lettuce. Maybe tomatoes produce quicker. Hmm, odd. Um, and the furniture is still producing well. We've run out of stuff at the oil processing plant, unfortunately. Um, we've run out, run out of wood at the old sawmill, but I'm not that worried about the sawmill because whilst that is filling, let me show you. Um, if we go here, as you can see, I brought the, uh, the wood planks up here and we have quite a few of them. Um, this will keep us going for quite a while, I think. And we're not going to put any of these in until the sawmill has actually finished distributing, I think. Or maybe we will, I don't know. But it, it, it's feeding on these at the moment. And I've got the furniture stocked up and ready here in the trailer because I think furniture is good to sell in July, or is it now? Oh no, it's now! Oh god! That's, that's on its way up as well at the London Halt. So, yeah, we are... <laughs> I forgot the furniture was selling right now. So that's actually going to be... This is going to be a really profitable start to the stream, I think. This is fantastical. Uh, so, yeah. So we've got furniture and silage to do. And I'm hoping... Like I said, guys, I'm hoping that that will give us enough to buy the big... New Holland harvester because that will be a great help um, a great help indeed on the field when we come to harvest the wheat very shortly now I'm tempted to also keep the smaller one if we have the money for it if I need to sell it to afford the bigger one I will but ideally I would like to keep the small New Holland because if we do if we get like another field somewhere else it would be handy to have a second harvester to use at that um, location like if we do like a, a remote farm it would be handy to have another harvester so I'm hoping that I can keep it uh, I'm actually fine babe I've literally just had a uh, iced coffee and I think if I perk myself anymore There'll be trouble afoot. But thank you. Oh, is that... Come on, fill up. Wait, why is that not... Oh, that's why. the uh, This thing has moved. Alright, we've got to... Just move that forward a little bit. There we go. So that it finishes filling up. So we'll leave the furniture for the time being. We'll do the furniture last, I think. We'll keep an eye on the price. If it does stop, if it plateaus at any point, we'll do the furniture immediately. But whilst the furniture is, the price of the furniture is still on its way up, we'll sort out the old uh, silage first. Um, and I think, guys, I have decided that we might get the fermenting silo. Now, this was discussed in the previous episode. I think someone mentioned it, um, and I have seen the mod previously. But it basically replaces the pit. It, it kind of like makes, makes the pit work a little bit easier because you don't have to flatten or roll or anything like that. Um, but it takes grass, chaff and hay 
and produces silage from it basically and it's like a little production building um, as opposed to having to work with the pit all the time which considering we've now done the pit I feel more inclined to kind of swap it out and it's it's about the same amount of money it, uh, the, the pit that we've got at the moment is about 25,000 and the fermenting silo I think is 30,000 so after we've bought the harvester if we have any free money I think I'm gonna swap the pit for the silo just so that um, it's a bit easier to manage because uh, that will that would cut out the middleman of having to you know spend ages tending to the pit and flattening it out and all that kind of stuff and not to mention getting myself stuck um, yeah so I think we're gonna go for that I don't know yet we'll we'll see later on today um, Ah, it was you that mentioned it, Groot. Yes, yes. Like I said, I have seen that mod previously, but I hadn't really considered using it um, until you brought it up. But I think, considering that we have done some pit work now, I think it's uh, I think it's fair game to use it. You know, I think I think it's perfectly reasonable to uh, to be using that. So we'll look at we'll look at that later on um, after we've done the selling and. Uh, hopefully bought the harvester. That's what I'm hoping. We need like we do need quite a considerable amount of money to buy the harvester mind you. We need like 400 and I think it's 435,000 something like that for the harvester and then like another thousand for the header. It's quite an expensive header um, but providing we can afford that we'll look at replacing the pit. Go. Here we go. First load of silage. Away! I do love how big this trailer is. It's very nice. So, what's the total? 33,500. 33,5. from 50,000 liters. Yeah, that's that's pretty good actually. It's going to take us about 6 loads, so that will definitely net us. Come on, Lake. Stop being unloaded. But yeah, so 33 33 times 6 is yeah, about 200,000. So that's not bad. That's that's pr pretty good. If we'd waited, we could have gotten a little bit more. Like if we waited until December, we could have gotten a little bit more. But it's hardly worth it in my book, to be honest. Hardly worth it. I think we'd be better off just taking advantage of this unseasonable um, sell price and just getting some good money. Because we do need it. Definitely need it right now, you know. Um, I wonder. I'll do a couple of loads and then we'll we'll check the old price for the furniture and see what it's doing because if I'm making six trips back and forth, it's going to be a little bit kind of dum de dum de dum de dum. <laughs> but that's what that's what you get. Deal with it. Uh, right. Yeah, I think I have a feeling that this grass is already ready, is already ready to cut again. <laughs> you know, it looks pretty ready, but I think I'm going to wait until the next month. I'm going to wait until July to do any more grass cutting because then it will be extra long. Because we don't want to keep. Um, don't want to keep doing grass work. It's going to be a bit of a repetitive job if we just keep doing the same job over and over. Oh, wait a minute. I could 
could really do with actually going over that bit of ground there and just kind of scooping that up. I wonder if I can sneak in here and uh, so lower the pickup, it's there, turn it on. Oh, lovely. There we go. Perfect. Uh-oh. I'm stuck. How am I stuck? What's what's going on? I think I'm stuck underneath the... Uh... Yeah, there we go. I'm free. Right, and that's that picked up as well. That's good. Turn that off. Let's just back this up. more. Oh, come on. Give me a break here, game. You want me to be inch perfect? There we go. Inch perfect it is, I guess. Right. Let's keep a little eye on these prices, see what they're doing. Uh, seven five. that's still going up. Silage. Oh, the silage has started to drop slightly, so we definitely need to get that sold. That is true, I guess, Groot. Um, it's just a bit kind of like scaling a mountain, but I suppose it would be, would definitely be. A quicker way. Let's let's give it a try. Actually, it's just quite a, a mountainous pile. Oh my lord, babe, that sounds adorable. We might have to watch that later on. Right, let's see what we can do. Ooh, ooh. See the uh, slight issue. <laughs> it certainly works, but it's ooh, it's a bit. Come on, fill up. Get that last bit. I want that five that that last five thousand liters, please. Ah. Tractor. The most unrealistic way to fill a loading wagon ever. And it didn't work anyway. Great. Um, right, I'm going to try and back out of here and then that's, that's never going to work, is it? <laughs> Don't worry, group. It was it was worth a try. Um, certainly quicker than waiting for the whole thing to fill. Uh, I think we'll just nip round and um, fill the rest with the uh, with the thing. Now I think should be able to squeeze around this side. There we go. Right now. These big tires, I just need to squeeze through here. I've really parked that trailer in a really bad spot, you know. 
but it should just, ooh, look at that, inch perfect maneuvering. Now will it, yep, there we go, brilliant. Just fill this last few percent, and off we go. Oof, goodness me. You know, it's, it's even boiling right now, guys. It's ridiculously warm. It's going to be one of those nights where you just sweat continuously. Just sticky and nasty, you know? Right. Come on now. Up. 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 Rise, tractor. There we go. Brilliant. Finally. <laughs> ah. Okay, so load number two. Oh. A slightly different angle through the trees there. I really ought to buy that bit of land and actually put a proper track in, you know. That's ideally what I would like. Got a lovely big wheat field there just waiting to be harvested. I'm actually looking forward to getting that harvested. Because uh, I have no idea what I'm going to do with the wheat. Whoa! Steady on, tractor. I didn't... Do Did you see that? I think I, I went slightly too fast and it just decided to spin out on me. Um, yeah, no idea what I'm going to do with that wheat yet. I don't have any productions that will take wheat, but um, we'll we'll figure something out. I think it was just instead of doing, you know, um, it was instead of doing canola again, I think. Speaking of though, we do have a field of canola just behind the uh, bakery there that we'll need harvesting as well in the coming months. So there's plenty to do at the moment, which is really nice actually. Right, next load going in. Look at those numbers fly! <laughs> Hmm. Beautiful. There we go. Slightly lower amount, but not by more than a few hundred pounds, I don't think. So, no problem there. Oh, watch out, white car. Watch out, blue car. Watch out, all traffic. Just, just all the traffic. Watch out. Because I'm coming through. get one more load done and then I'll take another look at the furniture like I said um, actually what I'll do is we'll get this trailer filling on the uh... whoa did it again that same corner Note to self, slow down for that corner, I guess. I wasn't even... I was just straightening back up and it just suddenly decided to go, nope, we're going into the trees. Very unusual. Hey, will you stop that? I think it literally just is my speed and my tire. I can't believe I'm losing grip with eight tires. I mean, come on. I can't fit any more tires onto this tractor. And you're telling me it's not enough? It's just, it's just wrong. That's what it is. It's just not right. Mm 
<laughs> but still, no matter. We are back. Let's get this positioned. Just sneak through here. Maybe just nudge this trailer out of the way slightly, but that is that is filling nicely. Excellent. Right. Let's grab the old guy here and we're going to head over we're going to head over to the sell point. We're not going to sell just yet, but we are going to head over there. We're going to test ourselves on the hill. Because all my other vehicles have struggled with a full with a load of materials going up that hill. It doesn't matter which one it was, they've all struggled, even my eight-wheeled monstrosity. So let's see how this truck does. It does sound rather nice, doesn't it? Can't even see it be <laughs> it's just it's just not big compared to the height of my trailer. I can't even see it unless I do that, which I don't want to do. Come on. Ooh, get back on the road, you squirmy little squirrel, you. One. Right. Here we go. Ah, uh, there's the spinnery that I'm going to have to eventually buy for my wool. That's going to be annoying. Having to transport all my wool to that location. But that is... That is the challenge that I have set myself. I cannot place additional buildings if one already exists on the map. Unless I already own it. Right. Here we go. Perfect. Jeez, Groot, that is rather warm. Oh wow. Even this thing is slow. Even this thing is slowing down on these hills. I think these hills must just be ridiculously steep. But hey, what are you going to do? You actually did a lot better than the tractors were doing, so... Yeah, I, I don't know what it's been in, Far in Fahrenheit here, but it's been... It was 27 degrees yesterday at its... At, at its warmest that I noticed in Scotland which is just mad and I think it was about 20 24 25 something like that at its highest today you know it's getting so warm here guys that this, apparently today um, forest fire warnings were issued Ooh, 90 90 F is 32 degrees far, uh, Celsius okay Cool, so that's a bit warmer than it has been here. It's doing better up the hill, but it's still slowing down. Oh god. I say it's doing better. Only just, mind you. Um, but yeah, the, there's actually been warnings for forest fires here in the UK, and people have been advised against leaving flammable materials outside. You know, that's that's how crazy warm it's getting over here. You know, I've, I've never heard of forest fire warnings in the UK before. Alright, let's just park it round the corner here, but we're not going to drive into the trigger just yet, unless the price really is quite fantastic. 7533. It's definitely still going up. Yeah. It's definitely still going up, and the silage is definitely plateauing. So, there you go. Oh, oh, it stopped. It's moving. to there. Oh, 
come on. No. I didn't say fall over. I said move backwards. Right. Now I've got a Just myself. For load number three. There we go. That's better. Oh geez, Bart. Yeah, I saw that image that you uploaded to the uh, Discord. Pretty crazy looking, I will say, you know, the comparative difference. Hey, Walker, hello. Oh, it's done it again. Oh, has it done it again? Oh, the, the things have moved, that's why, look. That's better. Silly thing, just no, 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 not not this one. This one. Thank you. There we go. Hey Walker, we are just uh, in the process of doing a bit of selling and money making because there is plenty of good things to sell at this point in time, and then hopefully we might be getting onto a harvest or starting a harvest. Probably have to finish it next time because I think it's going to be quite a big one. But we'll see how we get on. Depends how long it takes me to finish selling this silage, actually. This is going to be, this is the most time consuming thing at the moment. Only being able to do 50,000 litres at a time. I suppose this is kind of the advantage of doing bales because you can have, like, silage bales tend to be, like, much more efficient in their storage size, shall we say. I think silage bales are about 7,000 litres at the biggest. So you fit like 20 of those on a trailer and it's like, well, no, not 20. It's more like, say, 15 or something like that. Somewhere in the region of about 15 on a trailer, maybe a little less. Um, but what's that? That's like... 70, probably about 100,000 litres, something like that, at a time, whereas this is only 50,000 litres at a time. But, uh, hey! It's fine, I don't mind, it's just a different way of doing it, you know. It has been quite a while, Walker, yeah. It's nice to have you uh, back in the chat, you know. It's uh, it's definitely been a while if, since last I saw you. I can't even remember actually. When was the last? I know you've like popped into a stream here and there to say hi, but you haven't been able to stay. I remember I remember that, but yeah, it has been a while. Yeah, this is this is load number three, so we'll have two more, three more after this one. Hey, oh, you see him swerve into me there. Look at this guy swerving all over the road. I think he's drunk. Say nothing of the, the giant crazy tractor driver just trundling around with eight wheels of monstrousness. Um, but I'm allowed to be crazy. This is my game. Right. Another load, in we go. Ah, nice, you restarted your game, huh? How are you getting on? 
28,974. It's, sl it's dropping ever so slightly each time we take a load, so I think it's definitely... We definitely need to get this sold. How's the furniture price doing? Just keeping an eye on it, you know. Where's furniture? There it is. What was it before? 7533. So it's gone up again a little bit. <laughs> I'm not going to niggle too much, guys. I mean, 75336 is actually a really good price for furniture. Um, I think it usually tops out at about 75, isn't it? 7515. So it is above its natural maximum. Groot, I I have tried some US maps. Um, I I started when I first played Farming Sim. I started on Elm Creek, and I did like that map, but it did seem kind of ooh, what's that van doing? Crazy stunts there. Um, it did seem like a nice map, but I I honestly haven't had much experience on it. Um, other than that, I have tried the 22 version of Goldcrest Valley. I think it's Goldcrest Valley. It was a 19 map, FS19 map that got remade for FS22. And I kind of liked it, but that one was, I think things were too far apart, you know. Like the town was here and everything else was over there. It was a bit, a bit wonky. So I, I didn't play too long on that map. But um, I just kind of find maps that I like the look of and give them a go. But uh, yeah, they're not bad, not bad. I might honestly go back and, and start another game on Elm Creek at some point because I did kind of like that map. But I'll probably be doing that in my own time, you know, because for the time being, we'll be sticking with uh, with this map. I think probably until the new one comes out, um, the one that's uh, coming with the new expansion in November, I think it is. Uh, yeah, the one where you can build a boat. And I'm strongly considering doing some serious actual logging. And like, you know, having the Lumberjack mod installed but not using it as such so that I actually um, can use some of the big forestry equipment because I haven't really used any of that before. Um, and as terrible as it is to see me operating a crane, um, it's probably something I should give it, give it a go. Uh, the Lumberjack mod group is a mod for PC. I believe it's PC only. Yeah, I think it is. But it basically gives you super strength, toggleable super strength, so that you can pick up logs or anything else for that matter. Which is why I'm able to, like, you know, heave tractors around the map. Um, it speeds up the time needed to cut a tree down. It allows you to remove um, tree stumps with a chainsaw um, and generally just, you know, makes a few quality of life improvements to the, 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 the logging um, aspect of the game. Uh, so that's what the Lumberjack mod does. It's, it's quite a simple little mod, but it's very useful, you know. Um, but having super strength and a really quick chainsaw does mean that you just I have tended to not bother using like you know the big like for example uh, these big forestry machines here like uh, like this thing here that cuts trees down and can chop them into nicely sized logs and all that kind of stuff never really had much experience with it because I haven't needed it um, likewise uh, like, you know, 
there's there's another one that does the whole tree cutting thing um, and these things that like can pick logs up well not that one but this one that can pick logs up and everything with the crane and all that never had a cot never had used to use them basically uh, because of the lumberjack mod <laughs> because the first time I tried using actual uh, logging equipment was before I got into using mods and I was terrible <laughs> I was really bad at crane management um, but I should probably give it another go at some point you know and this new map is a good opportunity for that because there will be a lot of logging in it which should be kind of fun actually should be fun Hey Walker, looks like they they did. Uh, I've I've not actually played Stone Valley before, but that uh, does seem like quite a few changes. Soybean straw, ooh nice. That's a neat little feature. Is that specific to that map? Then I take it. That one nearly full here. I think the way this is going, the rest of the loads, I may just be able to drive through and get them. Because the pile has it has gone down in size quite considerably. Right. Start creeping forward a little bit whilst it finishes up the fill. Not much left. 3%, 2%, 1%. And full. Perfect. Load number three. I could definitely do with some sort of infinite trailer <laughs> for, for transporting this silage. If I'm going to get that um, fermenting silo as well, it may not be a bad idea <laughs> to get a really chunky trailer. Um, just to just to transport the silage because otherwise I'm going to be spending days days and days and days I say just transporting silage back and forth because I've I've, I've, I've I've spent how long now probably about 20 25 minutes hauling silage around the map which is it's a thing I guess um, yeah, but uh, I don't want to spend the entire stream just hauling silage. That's not interesting. So I'll try and get this done as quickly as possible. See if I can make like five minute turnarounds just to get these last few done, you know? Yes, Walker, I have heard of phase eight for. Um, for SnowRunner. It's going to be farming. <laughs> I believe it was uh, on Sunday I made the joke that um, I think the, the developers of Farming Sim and SnowRunner went to the wrong office one day because um, like Phase 8 SnowRunner is farming and effectively the fourth update for Farming Sim is going to be logging you know, and building a boat. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I seriously think they, they went to the wrong workplace for a few months. Because they're like, aha, we can do what you do better than you can. It will be interesting to see how these things turn out, though. I'm kind of interested to see how SnowRunner is going to incorporate farming into it. 82 Studios has a bigger capacity trailer. Is that a um, a mod author? Ooh. Groot. Is that a mod author? Because I'll, I'll look that up on the mod hub. Um, might install that for next time. Nice, another 30,000 there. 33 and a half, yeah, 33 and a half. Ooh. I swear these drivers just pull U-turns. 
on on junctions instead of like you know turning it's weird right we'll see if we can drive through the pit uh, this time because it'll be a lot quicker to load up than waiting for the um, conveyors that was the word I'm looking for yes be a lot quicker than waiting for them if we can just fill it up using the forage wagon but we'll see how well we get on with that um, yeah Excellent group, excellent. So I will I will look that up and see if I can get a bigger capacity trailer because I definitely, I, I, I don't think much or any of the actual base game trailers go over about 50,000 litres. There may be like some that do like 52 or 55 or something like that, but I think about 50,000 litres is the maximum for most of the in-game trailers. So it would be nice, it's like, even like, say, 70, 80,000 would be nice. 100,000 would be amazing, mind you. Like, if I get, could get a trailer with 100,000 litre capacity, that would be kind of cool. But I will take a look at Mod Hub. Thank you very much, Groot, for that suggestion, and I'll see what I can find. Whew. I'm drinking water like crazy. And I still feel like I'm sitting in a furnace. It's just dry, oppressive heat at the moment here, you know. There's there's no moisture at all. It's just poof, you're gonna bake. Right, put the pickup down. And we'll get lined up here. Come on now. Come on, do the wiggle. Oh, you're not going to let me do the wiggle, are you? That looked kind of promising. Yep, there we go. That's better. Now I can kind of just hopefully. Oh, maybe not. No, I think. Oh dear, I'm kind of stuck. I think I need to move these um, these things out of the way now. Just so that I can drive out of the pit here. Do, do. That'll do for the time being. Drag you through. Oh, there we go. Come on, <laughs> come on. Thank Lordy for the lumberjack mod, you know. Oop, no, no, come back. No, let go, you crazy fool. trailer back in there. Uh, it's not going to go, is it? No, nope. it's not going to go. Oh, I'm driving over my conveyors now. 
Oh, oh dear. That fell over. Uh, no, that's not what, not what I wanted you to do. You... No! Stand up! Go home, conveyor, you're drunk. Taking the Mickey now. Come on. Stand up. That's better. No, 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 no. I don't. Will you not dump silage into my grass silo, please? Thank you. Right, there we go. <laughs> That's better. Round we go. Round we go. Deposit that in there, please. Marvellous. And then we'll just uh, pick this up and bring it round. Drop this in as well. Oh, it's picking up grass now. Great. You silly thing. Just dump this in the silo now. Okay, maybe that's that's 95 that's good enough. We'll go and sell this load before it becomes an even bigger problem. <laughs> Dang, Walker, that um, that sucks. That's pretty bad. Right, let's just turn that off so that we can actually get some speed. Dang. <laughs> the temperature is toasting your electrical cables. So you can't play anything. I'm, I'm assuming... Oof. Yeah, it's toasting the internet wires. That is bad. Jeez. Oh, Groot, TLX. I think I have that. Yes, these things. I do have the tanker option. Yeah, I've got the tanker. Um, but... So the tip here... 6,000, 8,000, wow, <laughs> 82,000, <000. laughs> wow, that's that's quite a jump for a tiny little tipper like that. I will have to look into that. Um, let's just keep an eye on the furniture, where are we now price-wise, oh, it's still going up. Right, come on, pull tractor, pull! Onwards, noble steed. Come on, we've got to sell this silage. We've still got another two more loads to do after this one. Come on, hurry up. Maybe I'll just leave it at this for the time being and sell the furniture and see how that gets us. And then if we need to sell any more silage to get the money we need, we will. But if we don't need to, then I can sell it later. Just save it until December or something, until the price is naturally good. Oof. Oh, ah. That'll teach me to look at chat momentarily. Ah! Car! Stop it! Cars are made of just literally rubber. Just boing, just bounce off them like crazy. <sighs> oh, 
Oh, that's good at least, Walker. At least you're getting a little bit of internet. Good grief. It's like dodgem cars. You know, the fairground with the bumpy bumps. So many liters of silage. So much silage, I don't know what to do with it all. What I should have done is sold a bit of this off screen, but I wanted to show you guys the pile, you know, the massive 300,000 litre pile of silage that we end up with. Whoa, bonk. Couldn't slow down, sorry mate. It was going too quick. But we'll sell this load, then we'll sell the furniture and we'll see what kind of money we have and what we will we'll, what we will need to get in order to buy that harvester. Because if needs be, for this year's harvest, I can just rent it again. I'd like to buy it, but it, we can just rent it if needs be. But we have over 200,000 now, which is a pretty nice number. Look at that, very nice. So, uh, let's, yeah, that's, it's going up, but it's only going up a little bit at a time here. So, let's sell, yep, yeah, let's sell this. Here we go. Oh, it's going through the roof. 150,000. Pretty good. Pretty good. But it's not enough. It's not enough. 430,000. Plus we'll need the header, which is another 89. So that's what? Um... 90, 520,000 we need. So we're still 140,000 short. That's slightly disappointing actually. I was really hoping to be able to buy that today, but even with the silage added on, we're definitely not gonna have enough. So I will rent it for this year, I think. Or maybe I'll rent a different one just to have like a different harvester for a little bit. You know, I'll rent one of these guys. 12 meter header. What does this guy have again? 13.7, so it is actually better. No, we'll just we'll just get this guy again. It was nice having the pair of New Hollands in the field last time, so we'll uh, we'll do that. And what else do we need? Don't need any of that stuff. <laughs> Wait a minute, why is it saying there's 11 pallets to auto load? There's no pallets to auto load. What are you talking about, you crazy thing? Um, we may be able to get some more money for furniture in July because the price is still good and it will have produced a bit more so we'll head back to the farm for the time being I think with this guy and we'll see what the next month brings I mean one or two pallets probably won't do anything So I think we're going to have to wait until we have another big payday to actually buy the har harvester. That was an impressive amount of money from, uh, from furniture there. 
Very impressive. Going for the overtake. Oh no! Ah, it's a disaster! That's why you don't do a U-turn in the middle of a junction, mate. What are you doing? Who does a U-turn in the middle of a junction? My insurance detail is eat my shorts. Get out of here. Right, there we go. Perfect. <laughs> yep. I mean, I guess I was on the wrong side of the road. But who does a U-turn in the middle of a junction? That's just crazy, that is. Right, we'll just park that there. Uh, the John Deere S670, S690, 770 and 790 pack. Hmm. Combines with big capacity bins. Ooh, hey, very nice. I will check that out, Walker. Thank you for the recommendation. Um, right, let's just double check that everything is good to go. Um, these still have water in them. Yes, that's good. That's still producing. Yes, that has nothing in it. Um, so yeah, let's let's head on to the next month, I guess. I need a better farmhouse at some point as well, you know. Because uh, this wee little trailer shed is pretty nice, but it would be nice to have something grander, shall we say, a nice big mansion of some sort. Um, how's the old price doing now, huh? 7585, so yeah, that's doing about what I expected. Oh, you're joking me. Look at it, it's gone up. Never mind. Let's, uh, we'll get through to the next month because I think that is going to be a harvest time. Um, and if it is, we can start doing some harvesting. Like I said, I don't know what I'm going to do with the wheat. <laughs> um, I will need wheat for the brewery when we get it, the Lefe Brewery, because we're definitely going to fiddle around with that mod in this game session, because I've been meaning to do that for like the last six months on my farming sim videos, but I've just not had uh, the opportunity to do so. So prices are... Eh, silage is all right. And furniture is 7.7. Seven. Wow, that's actually even better. Um, let's let's go and have a look, see exactly how much it has produced, if any. Uh, only two pallets. That's uh, fifteen thousand, but I think we'll save the furniture that's coming out now for next year, next year's sale. That furniture is going to stand there for quite some time. How are you sheeps is doing? This grass is definitely in need of a uh, definitely in need of a trim now. Turn that off. Right, okay. So yeah, so if we're not gonna buy the combine this time, we might as well um, might as well replace it, replace this pit. But that means I've got to empty it, so I will we'll do that later on. First off, let's see if the... Yes, it is ready. This strip isn't. <gasps> Ooh, the canola's ready. We can actually get the canola harvested. Um, that's... Why is this strip not ready? That's very strange. Is that wheat as well? Oh no, that's wheat. Is that barley? Oh, that's barley. Interesting. So I planted wheat in this field and barley in this field. I don't even remember that. But hey, this field is ready. So 
what we need to do is rent ourselves oh, some nice stuff in there. Look at that. Look at this thing. That would be amazing. But no, can't have it. It's not on the sale. Uh, I'm not allowed sale items. So we will lease this big boy. 21,000. Thank you. Uh, and we will go for this header. Um, we could actually buy the header. We'll lease the harvester, but let's buy the header. That would actually be... That would save us some um, leasing fees. Because now that's, that's sorted. So, there we go. Now we just need to hook this bad boy up and get him over to the field. With this crazy way that this particular shop is orientated. that done. Let's go little harvester. Little harvester. This thing's huge. Da 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 I can't see anything. Fa la 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 So I think what we'll do is we'll start with a little uh, run around the headland here and then we'll set this guy off on a worker whilst I uh, attach that excellent whilst I go and grab our other little mini harvester take it over to the canola field and get that harvesting Ooh. Nope, don't want to run over any of my precious barley, thank you very much. There we go, marvellous. Right, uh, fold is there, marvellous. Ka-chunk. That's that done, nice. And then there, and fold again to unfold the harvester. Perfect. And then let's start her up. This is dropping straw, excellent. Excellent, we can come along with a forage wagon at a later later time and uh, pick all of this straw up Because that will be handy because no doubt at some point we'll have to get cows because you know Seemingly everything on farming sim comes back to milk <laughs> It's like you want this or you need milk you want this or you're gonna need some milk for that It's like great really like that. <laughs> this is actually yielding pretty well already. We've done this wee little strip so far and we've already got 5,000 litres of barley. Might actually get a good sized harvest off this. Da 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 Wow. I'm going to have a seriously full combine very soon. Hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> Walker, a harvester with tracks only. That's kind of badass like some sort of giant tank harvester it's 
like, and this is the harvester that the army uses. Outside of, I've got chilled water in my glass with ice cubes in it. And every time I go to pick up my glass, all the condensation on the outside of the glass runs off and drips all over me. So I'm covered in condensation right now. It's ridiculous. Speaking of ridiculous, this is, I'm gonna have to go and get my new truck. unload this material because that is almost full now there we go all right where's the pipe out button that's not the pipe out oh yes there it is all right where did I leave my truck I think it's here or is it here it's there there we are. See, I had, the, I had the little guy here. Waiting for that field, but that's not going to be ready yet. And the canola is, so we may as well go and harvest the canola. God, this thing is prompt. 50 miles an hour in a field. You crazy orange truck, you. Whilst that is unloading, let's jump in this guy. And we'll take him over to the small field. <coughs> I do hope this header isn't going to pose me a pose a problem. Possibly should have put it back on the trailer, but hey, I am a crazy person that drives around with headers on their on their harvesters, and I'm pretty sure my neighbours don't mind if I use their field as a little shortcut. There we go, perfect. Don't mind me. I'm just driving on your sugar beets or potatoes or whatever those are. It's, it's I think it might be potatoes actually. Kind of looks slightly potato y. That and I just like saying potato. Potato! Potatoes! Oh my god, it's a potato! Right. Oh, it's cotton. Oh, alright, I'm totally wrong. <laughs> there we go. Totally wrong. Right, uh, let's turn this on again, finish going around here, and then we can set him off and we'll go and harvest the small field. Oh, Bart, sensational. Homemade air conditioning, huh? Using a great big block of ice, very nice. Yeah. So we, we were quite, quite uh, happy today, me and my partner, that we are currently um, assigned to one of the newer vehicles in the fleet. It's only done 15,000 miles so far in like a few months. <laughs> but um, yeah, it has beautiful air conditioning in it, in the cab and in the passenger cabin. And uh, we were so glad of it. It was just like, ah. Oh. It's like we really felt sorry. S someone we knew from another station came over to us and said, and we're like, yeah, it's far too hot today. I've already drunk like 
three bottles of water and the air conditioning doesn't work in our vehicle it's like oh you poor unfortunate soul I feel so sorry for you <laughs> yeah evil 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 finish off not much to do with the headland then and then we'll get it going crisscrossy uh, probably unload it with the truck before we set it off though just so that it's got a full tank available because this is going to be pretty full by the time we get around here actually here's a point guys speaking of work Look what I got sent. Don't know if it picks up very well there on the old. Um... Oh, let me try and keep a straight line whilst I'm showing you. But that is a little commemorative coin for our roll. Let me get a better look at it here. It's quite shiny, so let me see if I can dull that down. There we go. Little like a little thank you coin from uh, from work to say thank you for working during COVID. Um, which was really nice. I actually really liked it. They sent us like they sent us all a little thank you card as well, which was actually very unexpected. Um, because you know it it's not that we don't. We aren't appreciated. It just feels sometimes like we aren't appreciated uh, <laughs> because they ask us to do crazy stuff. Um, but uh, it was really nice to receive that. But, uh, and and my partner and partner and I looked at each other when we got it, and we were just like, later we were just like, yeah, this is nice, but extra, what what about an extra ten grand on our paycheck? <laughs> you know. That being said, that being said, it was very nice to receive that. Um, it did make me feel very, very good inside, you know. Considering that I actually joined the ambulance service during COVID, like the COVID crisis was about I think it was in its like first year when uh, when I actually joined the ambulance service and uh, yeah, there Yeah, and and as part of working in the ambulance service, I've had COVID twice. Twice! The first time was horrific. Second time, not too bad. Just a headache, mostly. But, uh, yeah, it was definitely nice to have a little recognition. Right, let's hire a wee worker. Off you go, Mr. Worker. I'll just move this back a little bit so that it's out the way. Don't want it to uh, interrupt the worker turning around. So there we go. There's that. And now we'll head over to this guy. Oop. Engine on, please. And we'll harvest this bit of canola. Uh, oh, need to unfold first. Okay. There we go. Perfect. It's certainly not a pleasant thing, Walker. I'm sorry to hear that you had to experience it. It's, um, yeah. The first time I got it was before the vaccines were introduced. It was about, about two or three months before the vaccine became fully rolled out to everybody um, and yeah I had it I had it really bad I was in bed for two months uh, no not two months two weeks two weeks two and a half weeks in bed pretty much before I could even stand to like move around I had pretty much the whole the whole works I had headache and I had um, aches and pains and the thought feeling lethargic and oh dear look at these civilians 
What are you doing, guys? Is this a, a climate protest that I haven't been made aware of? Dudes, why is there a tree in my field? I didn't even see that. What is this tree doing here? Get out of here, you. Thank you, Lumberjack. At least I could remove... <laughs> Wait... <laughs> I mean, I know I combined two small fields into this one, right? And there was a tree in between them, but... What? How would... I'm not even gonna... I'm not even gonna question it right now. That was... That's mad. That's actually mad. I'm glad it was easily removed. That's the only thing. Yeah, Walker. Um, there was like a little strip of grass, like down the middle, like across this field, because it was actually two, um, two fields, and I joined them together to make one. Um, but uh, yeah. Oh, hey, perfect. It even finished the right way. So I can just slide on up and empty. Oh goodness me! This tr tractor, actually, this trailer actually wants uh, emptying before I fill her up. So we'll just pop over here, dump this in the silo, come back, empty the harvester, get it on the way again. I think next time is going to be baling that straw from the field as well as grass cutting. Back to the good old grass cutting. But uh, I think we'll have a... we'll get ourselves a fermentation silo for next time though. Just so that it's a bit easier. It is a really nice... really nice tr uh, truck this. Although the texture in the in the back of it is a bit weird. <laughs> I've noticed that it like goes immediately to like a filled level, regardless of if you only put like one liter of stuff in it, and it stays there. Like some trailers, you can see actively like lowering. This one will just go dunk full, you know, which is a bit odd. But I still really like it. It's a great little... See? See? See that? See? It just went poof! Full! You know? Which is slightly unusual. Right. We'll let that unload on its own and we'll get back to harvesting this canola. Da 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 canola Ka canola We can take this up to the oil plant later on as well and uh, make ourselves some delicious canola oil. Probably won't get that much. I'm guessing we've probably only got maybe... Probably won't even have a full combine full, so maybe about six, seven thousand litres of canola here, if we're lucky. Which will translate into about three, three and a half thousand litres of canola oil. Which is still pretty good. It's not bad, but it's not astronomic either. It's not going to, like, you know, destroy the world. So we'll probably just keep that at the oil plant until we get more materials. Because otherwise it's going to be a bit of a... bit of a job just transporting three or four pallets to the cell point. Might not even get 6,000 litres here. Just depends. But uh, anything is better than nothing. And at least this field was used to, to do something 
you know, it wasn't just left fallow. Um, it might just be worth selling it though, you know. I mean, they weren't very expensive fields and I've had a couple of harvests out of them. I may just sell this, these fields. Buy them back when, you know, I have a production that might go on here, that I can place. Might be an idea, actually. Oh, you've been taking good care of your guinea pig, Walker. Nice. Very, very good. I approve. I approve of good animal care. Oh, speaking of good animal care, I think little Artuin has taken refuge in her uh, in her log tunnel. She's probably loving the hot the hot weather. You know, she'll be feeling super energized, maybe too energized, or maybe she's just too hot for her. I don't know. Ooh, look at that. Are we just going to... Just shy of 6,000 litres. Uh, look at that. Turn off. Thank you very much. We will head back to the farm with our delicious spoils from that field. We'll dump this in our silo for the time being. Um... I have a feeling I might have a little bit of canola still lingering around the farm somewhere. Maybe I don't. Maybe I'm. Maybe I've already taken it up to the. Um, yeah, I may have already taken it up to the to the oil plant. But either way, we'll dump this off here, and then we'll pop the little harvester away for the time being. Oh no, we'll take it back over to the barley field, to the wheat field, because we'll be using this to harvest the wheat field. Because there's no point in keeping the big harvester for the other small field, because this thing can take care of it, no problem. Might just take a little bit longer, but put the pipe away. And let's head on over head back over, I should say, to the wheat field. And then we'll deal with that full harvester again. This field should be ready next month now. We'll harvest that next time. We'll just leave this here for the time being. Turn that off. Just oh, flick across to this guy. Oh, hey, look, it's even finished in an appropriate place as well. Yeah, that's really quite good actually. That it just has enough capacity to do like two rows of the field, and then it's it's full. That's really good actually. All right, let's just get in there. Nice. Ah, right, so what is the next thing that needs doing? These, these contracts are terrible, you know? They seem to be fairly decent at first, but now they're just like, nah, that's, that's pretty bad, to be honest. <laughs> pretty bad, pretty bad. Um, yeah, so canola... We may replant all of the fields with canola again just so that we've got something in the oil factory but I do want to do one field with corn maybe I do want to do chaff silage you know I want to try chaff silage but the problem is is that means I have to get a forage harvester and they're expensive as well <laughs> um, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I'm 
going to have to think about what I want to replant in these fields because if I do canola it's going to be another year before we harvest and then I'm going to be left with the same kind of things to plant wheat, barley and, and canola again and as much as I'd like to you know get something straight back into the fields I may leave it fallow just so that I can plant something a little bit more interesting you know because we are going to need some of these other products and if I start get if I start planting some stuff now and just storing it up for later um, that's not a bad idea question is what inputs do I need for the Lefe factory let's just have a look what goes into the Lefe factory to produce um, products? So that's. Is that wheat or barley? Uh, water. And that needs cherries and hops, depending on. I've never even put this thing down, you know? I don't even know what the production for this looks like, you know? Maybe that small field would be. Actually, I wonder if that small field will fit this. If it does, we may keep it just because it would be a good place to put this huge building. Um, it's allowing me to put it there. I, I don't think it's recognising that, you know, there are other things in the way. I don't even know where the way in is. Is it through that? Oh, I think it's through through this building here on the bottom side. You like drive in the bottom there. So that might actually, as crazy as that looks, it's allowing me to place that there. We could even buy it now. I'm not ready to buy it now, obviously. But we could put it on this small field. It might look a little bit ridiculous, though, because it is going to be kind of cutting through all the fences and all that. It, it even allows us to place it there. What is this? This is mad. Why would it lo allow me to place it like that? I think we're going to have to get a slightly different location for it though. Because that looks terrible. Maybe we could put it on this field, like down at this end somewhere. That's just, too big. Too big. Even then, you know? Um, but yeah, so we need cherries and such. How do we get cherries? Orchards? Ah, cherry production, there we go. And hop production. So we need both of these as well. So, might be worth getting those soon. Those could go on the small field. Actually, that might not be a bad idea. On this area over here. Yeah. Because we could put, like, a couple of those. And then we could put, like, a couple of these on this field. And that would look a lot more sensible than having that huge palace. Alright? Just start with one, you know? And then get a second one later on. And that will allow us to, because they just need water and seeds, and they produce cherry and hops. All right, and then, oh, it's what we've got right now. It's barley. That's why I planted the barley. There we go. You see, you see, now I'm remembering why I did things that I did. <laughs> it's not because I can't actually remember what I'm doing it's because I can't actually remember what I'm doing <laughs> until I'm reminded way too fast overshot by a mile a country mile right there we go let's get this unloaded unloading unloading Yeah, I wonder if it would fit. No, 
I don't think even think it would fit in this area here. It's too too big. Wherever we put that brewery, we're going to need a massive space for it, and it's going to have to be really flat, otherwise it's going to cause a problem. You know, because it will it will cause some serious landscaping issues if we don't put it somewhere that's already been flattened. Um, so yeah, that's that's going to be something we will have to look into. May even have to like place it on a corner of this field or something, which would be a shame because this field is awesome. But we'll see. Do 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 filling up with more barley. Bally bally bally. Whilst this is doing this, I think we'll um, we'll get back to work on the silage pit. Whilst this is, or this worker is taking care of this field, I think. Let's just get it nice and level, and then higher. Away you go. Yes, because we've still got this guy parked over here, so we need to move him. We need to empty the pit. There's a <laughs> it, Walker. It doesn't surprise me if there's if there's still a tree on that field. I had a problem with this um, last time. It popped back up because I'd again. That big field that we have there that has the barley in it was three fields originally. And, oh, that's a solid fence. Can't drive through that, Lynx, come on. Um, and I cultivated the area in between them and joined them all in with one. And part of that was involved removing a few bushes and a few trees. And, yeah, I have a problem with a phantom bush that is really annoying because it won't allow me to lumberjack it. I can't get rid of it. See that that tree there? Yeah, I see it. That tree, you can see through the trees, is a real headache. So when I get, when the worker does get up to that point, I'm going to have to take over and... Whoa, he's doing two U-turns there. He did a U-turn so that he could U-turn. Oh, Carl, why are you there? I need to come round. This is apparently the easiest way to turn my tractor around on a hill. Um, but yeah, that, that tree is a problem. And when the harvester does get that far, I'm going to have to uh, see what I can do with it. It is very annoying that it's back. Oh, stop it. Every time, every time. It's a lousy thing, honestly. Ah, <sighs> dearie me. Right, we will lower the pickup, which is there try and drive through and get another load of silage and I'm going to dump it into our storage tower there and if I can't do that then I'll have to use the, um, the conveyors just to empty this so that I can sell it and build the new fermentation tower
turn this on. Marvellous. Yeah, it's uh, it's not really liking that a lot. So let's turn that off. Lift that. Double check on the harvester. Yep, it's going to need an empty in a moment. Annoyingly, now it's emptying on the wrong pass. Hooray for doing seven jobs at once. It's almost like I'm running a farm or something. guy going again. See if I can't deal with that tree. It'd be really nice if Lumberjack works for me, but last time I tried to chop it down, it wouldn't chop down! Which does kind of render a portion of this field very problematic. go. Let's go and have a look at this tree. See, it's it's a phantom tree. I can kind of... It doesn't allow me to actually cut it, which is really weird. It's just a problem. It's a giant problem. Right. Let's get these things back in the pit so that we can. You just pick up. thing forwards so that I can get the other pipe in here. Oh, no. Bad. No. Ah, what are you doing? Stop it. I know I'm kind of throwing you around like a crazy person, but geez, just go where you're told, all right? Spanner. Come here. Oh, is it stuck in the back of this thing now? Yeah, it's stuck in the back of this. Just get out. Come on. Out. 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 Oh, what's going on? What has actually happened? Get off. Get off. Off, I say. 
desist. Ah, there we go. I managed to save it. <laughs> it's, what on earth? Get, just stand up. Mavis, on your feet. Oh, this is, this is, this is grinding my gear. Just, please, just stand up. Stop it. Stand on your, on your wheels, you, you dog. Ah, oh, goodness me. There we go. That's better. Just had to throw it even harder. Get there eventually, you know. Right, so back this up to there. Right, now we have to turn around and line this up again. We're going to have to back this in, which is going to be great fun. Uh oh, tractor's, tr tractor's trying to climb the uh, the the sheep pen. Right there we go. Now here is the question: Can I successfully maneuver this? into position. Oh, it's filling. Perfect. Right. Back to Yon Harvester. Because it was saying something about the harvester there. Does it oh it oh okay it's it's missed a bit. <laughs> and gone down there instead. That uh, oh, that doesn't really work at all, does it? Um, I need to empty this as well. So many things to do. You see, this is why I'm allowed one AI worker on my field. Some hired help just to get me over this crazy stuff when things do get, indeed, very crazy. Right, up we go. You go like that. Check on that. That's still filling nicely. It's unloading. Crazy, I say, crazy. Right. Let's get this harvester emptied and then it can carry on in its merry way. Blump, blump. Do a little speed bump jumps here. And then to the harvester. Get rid of that worker. Back her up. I like how it just managed to kind of skim that and go as close as it possibly could to that tree. Oh, unlike me who manages to No, no, that's the wrong, wrong direction steering. There we go. Oh, no, that's not close enough now. Uh, well, 
There we go. Phew, right. I think I'll take it to the bottom of the field now and just allow it to start over at the bottom. Ooh, nearly done though. It's actually really good. Next episode is going to be spent doing uh, silage clearance, uh, straw clearance, I think. Right, and away you go. Back to this guy who is ooh, almost full. Ooh, and we've almost emptied the pit as well, actually. That's pretty good. Look at that. I have actually nearly emptied the entire pit. Spot on. Just a few bits left, come on. Can I get them in? Probably not. It's going to fill up. It's going to be just over one full load. But we'll dump this in here for now. There we go. I'm definitely not going to be able to... <laughs> Oh, bulk, bulk silo is empty. Oh, it has picked up everything on the conveyor there. So that's good. If I just move those over and I don't even have to use this piece of machinery anymore now, I can, if I just use the conveyors to, right, turn that off. And if I jump in these things and just trundle them over, or just trundle this one over, I think this is full of everything that's, left. So slow and unresponsive to turning. Now I, I want you to go right. I'm full right. And it's like, no, we're not doing that. In you go. Perfect. That's that one. And anything left on the other one. Probably not. Nope, this one is empty. Roly, roly, roly. Right, so. Once we've got this out of the way, we'll sell this guy and get ourselves that fermentation tower. Perfect. I don't know if I'll have to move any of this stuff. I might just push it out to the sides a little bit just so that I've got oh, come here you come, no I said come here you come in over here with me you can sit there these mowers are great by the way I do like them their ability to swath is so nice right there we go right Let's see what we got here. So selling this, 11,000, so that's not too bad. And then we want to go to, where is it, where is it? Here we go, fermentation silo. And we'll pop that just there. There we go. So this will now do the job of our wait, is it is it pulling the grass from my other silo? Oh haha <laughs> that is kind of cool actually. It's auto because it's ah, it's because it's a storage bin. 
you see, look, it's a, it's a silo, right? So it's linked to all the other silos that I have. So I can put grass, hay, and chaff in any silo that I own, and this will pick it up. That's cool. I like that. And it will also, it also stores it to any of my silos. So I can go to any of my silos and pick up the silage straight from a different si silo. I don't even have to use this. This is absolutely awesome. We're going to turn that on right now. And that's going to start converting that grass that we have. I know some of it is for the sheep. But we have a full field of grass here that is ready to harvest next time um, that will be perfectly fine for the... Um... Hey, look, it's actually finished. Let's uh, just finish, finish it by doing this little bit here around the tree. I'm going to have to sort out this tree. I don't know what it is that... I've done to deserve this tree's ire, but it is a solid tree. See? Collision. Which is so strange. But let's just scoop out as much of that delicious barley as possible. There we go. No problem, Walker. I'm about to finish anyway, so you're not going to miss anything. Thank you very much for dropping by, and uh, hopefully see you again on the next one. Right, let's just turn that off. And then... turn the engine off on this in a second and then we will transport this to our silo and check how much barley we've got another 26,000 litres there I wouldn't be surprised if we have over 100,000 litres of barley now from this field. I know we had a little bit in the silo, I think we had about 10,000, 15,000 litres of barley in the silo already from, I think the game started us with that in the silo, which is really weird, but I think we're going to have a very large amount of, of, uh, of barley now. Let's just, uh, let's just watch it go. Yeah, look at that, 103,000, plus it's still going up, 108. Yeah, no, we didn't have any other, any other canola, that's all the canola we've got. But we do have a nice sizable chunk of wheat there. Still got seeds. And solid fertilizer, that's good. So 125,000 litres minus a little bit so we definitely got a hundred thousand liters off that field which is absolutely fantastic I'm liking that right that is it for today guys um, the silage was sold the furniture was sold the harvest was done uh, and the fermentation tower was bought so yeah, all in all, a good little session. Hopefully, before the next harvest, we will have enough money to actually buy the harvester. That is the dream. But we do need another 200,000, just, just under 200,000. And we're probably not going to get that until we come to sell more furniture next year. So, yeah... I'll have a think about what I want to plant in that field now. Um, we still have the wheat harvest, of course. We could always sell the wheat that we have because that's not particularly useful to us at the moment. Unless we get some chickens and then we can sell eggs. That might not be a bad idea. 
and use the wheat to feed the chickens. Hmm. Curious. This would be a good spot to put some chicken pens, after all. Um, anyway, you let me know, guys. If you can think of anything good, good that might advance us, let me know. Drop me a comment on the Discord or whatever. Um, and we'll see where we go next week. Next stream will be on Sunday. We'll be on SnowRunner. And we'll be starting Tamir because we finished Alaska last week. 100%ed it. So we'll be starting on Tamir. We'll be starting our 100% um, grind on Tamir. So do join me for that. 3 o'clock p.m. GMT time. Um, and yeah, I'll see you next week for some more SnowRunner, uh, for some more Farming Sim as well. So, until then guys, do drop me a like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. It really helps the channel out. And uh, I will say, take care, stay safe, and until next time guys, I will see you later. Bye for now.